the key to lose weight, um, stress, and depression. Just get ready, like basic. I was gonna give y'all story time. So story time about my birthdays. Um, I think I did a birthday vlog last year. It was super simple. I went out to eat with my family. Oh yeah, I came in. Okay, so when I was little, um, this probably has nothing to do with my birthday, but this like childhood trauma. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know. I guess. But in the comments below, tell me if this is traumatic. <laughs> my mom watches my videos. She's gonna be like, "Pendejon, cuánto days?" That's kidding. Narcissistic person right there. They don't remember. <laughs> Start the story. I think when I was like, yeah, my mom has it when I was like two, but I think she's lying. And it was like when I was like one year old. But anyways. So anyways, back to the story. So, oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, and I would sleep with my older sister, um, Anna. And the sad part is, what's the sad part? Sad, cue, sad music. Cue, black and white. <laughs> so I would come up to the door, crying and banging like a little toddler, like, ah! And they could ignore me. And I the door. And I guess I would fall asleep there on the floor outside their door. And when they would wake up, they would open the door and I would be laying outside of the room on the floor. My little toddler ass. Um, that shit is kind of really sad. <laughs> my childhood was a little sad. That's probably why I'm always laughing and joking because I'm actually sad it's sad. But anyways, that is something. Um, if y'all want to know, that's so like sad though. Now that I have kids, I'm just very like, well, I see my mom and my dad as cute as other people. They're not my mom. Like, I'm they are my mom and dad, but you know what I'm trying to say, like. Before they had kids, they had dreams, they had goals, they had things they wanted to do. And they put that aside to like raise us, you know, and that's what a lot of people did and do and still do. But, you know, like I have kids and I'm still trying to go back. Like I'm still going back to school. Um, me and my sister, the our company just little like a little cleaning company is taking off. Um, I haven't told you guys, but we're starting a boutique. I don't even, oh yeah, I'm just gonna come to it. Come on, I don't even know how to do my makeup anymore. Let's do my birthday story. The reason that I put my own birthday sign. Um, since I was little, um, like I don't remember having any big parties except for my quinceanera and my 13th birthday um my 13th birthday wasn't like huge i just got to invite i just got to invite a lot of friends from my school um so like you know my friends came over to my house and that was on my 13th birthday and that day um all my friends came over and my brother they had just bought him a four-wheeler like a couple months ago before that so like we had the four-wheeler and we thought it would be a good idea to like put eight motherfuckers on the four wheeler. So it was a bunch of us teenagers. Um, so we're all on the four wheeler. Like it was like the four wheeler had um, what do you call them? I guess racks, the metal bars on the front and in the back where you could sit. Or to, I, I'm pretty sure that was to haul things, not people. <laughs> point is we put some girl i put some of my girlfriends on the front and on the side anyways what was i saying oh yeah so we had three girls on the front um no two girls in the front of the racks three girls sitting down like i see like in the actual seat and then 
like three on the racks on the back. So I was not driving. <laughs> I was like sitting, I was sitting in the seat, but I was sitting in the very back and it was one of my friends. We're gonna call her Brittany. And then my other friend, we're gonna call her Sequoia. <laughs> Um, that's not their real names. So Brittany and Sequoia was in front, and Erica is back here. Kika, aka me, is right. Kika, Erica. By the way, if y'all didn't know, my real name is Erica. I don't know if I've ever said that, but I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, but everybody's called me Kika when well, my dad made, gave me that nickname. So you know, Brittany and Sequoia. So they right here, and we come up to like I guess a bump or something. And the one that's driving that got the handles is Sequoia. And yeah, Sequoia got name. She gassing it. So she gassing it. Then Brittany behind her it sees the bump. So she, I guess, tries to put her hand in and try to break while Sequoia's going. I don't know. I don't know. But I just remember I felt a jerk. And I hurt. <laughs> Girl screaming. Because the girls in the front fell off. They fell. We were not going super high speed. But yes, they fell off. Like, they flew. It was not funny. But if I would have recorded it, it would have made it to America's Funniest Videos. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah. Now it's funny. But back then, I was like, oh my god, my friends. What did I do? I didn't even do anything. But yeah. So, Sequoia and Brittany are like, oh shit, we threw them off. The girls in the front, well, they was the cousins of the other, of my friend. <laughs> them poor girls, they had no business <laughs> getting hurt. But one of the girls fractured her nose and the other one like scraped the shit out of her like cheek, I think. And oh my God, I was so like, bruh. My 15th birthday, which is like quinceanera vibes. Okay, quinceanera vibes. Uh, my parents did throw me a 15 party, like sweet 15 or whatever. Um, And I had like a whole like um, ensemble with the, the damas and chambelanes and stuff. Um, So yeah, I might insert some pictures of my quinceanera so y'all can see. Oh! Yeah. Um. So yeah. So that was like ten years ago now. Um. Yes. Today is my twenty fifth birthday. <laughs> and, and on my fifteenth, I was late. <laughs> I was late to like, like we were all supposed to meet. Like all my chamelanes were supposed to meet in my damas at my house. And I had left yeah. to go get my makeup done. Mm, so I was late to get to the limo. So when I got to my house, my co-ensemble thought that it would be funny to prank me. I should have started YouTube since then because that would have been funny. I was pissed. I was like, where the fuck these motherfuckers go? And like, like I called them and I was like, bro, where'd y'all go? And they were like, oh, it's because the limo dude said that, that we had to go. Okay? And I was like, okay. And I was like, so yo, I'm the main of me. What the fuck y'all gonna do? But they were like, nah, we just kidding. We just told them to give us a ride around. But anyway, so like they came back or whatever. And yeah, we left. <laughs> but I was like, bro, these motherfuckers really left me for a little because I was been me. Never spoke to any of them ever again. I said when yo, I wanted my party to be big. Um, it was like in a big banquet. Um and I posted it on Facebook. Like quinceanera, everybody's invited and bum. girl. When I tell you I'll never again do that in my life, a bunch of people showed up. Like I didn't even like at the end I had to like I was like pulling out all the tables like from the back to like sit more people because I was like I damn all these people. And then at the end like more people started showing up because I guess back in the day it was more like party crashing vibes i guess and motherfuckers thought it was cool and i didn't really care because i did put it on facebook 
and there were like random people coming up to me and being like happy birthday and then oh, my quinceanera was we did it in like april march vibes april may actually and my birthday is in january <laughs> So all those people were like, happy birthday. I was like, these people don't know me, of course. <laughs> but thank you. And then they, and then I remember this one girl. She was like, hey, do you have any food left? And I was like, yeah, girl, it's in the kitchen. Put yourself a plate you want to. But yeah, that was actually um a really cool night. I really loved my dress. I remember my dress being those dresses that was, you know, the big poofy ones. But it was like two in one dress because you took off the top skirt and it left you like a little mini dress and that was so cute um shout out to my sister anna because she was um my madrina for the dress um for my 18th birthday i did not celebrate my birthday and that's the reason story time that's the reason my mom does not celebrate my birthday anymore because on my 18th birthday um i was wilding and i decided to go live with my booty daddy and i was like oh yeah i'm living the dream and i left i was a teenager and i was like you know what bump this and i left and i was going to go stay at my baby dad my baby that's not my, my baby father um <clears throat> and yeah and i was staying there for a couple of days and then like you know she was like i'm I remember when she messaged me and she was like, I'm never going to celebrate your birthday ever. And because of that, like, I, because I didn't come home and supposedly, like, she had the cake and she had me, um, I don't know if she had me food, but she had brought a cake for me. And, yeah. And so after that, she never, I never really celebrated my birthday with my family, um, because they fake. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, um. They real as it gets. They just sensitive. <laughs> and then, so after like I really didn't, you know, like my twenty first birthday, I didn't really celebrate it like that. Um, I think I went out with uh, one of my friends back in the day. We're gonna call her Anita. Um, yeah, I remember I went out with Anita. That's not her real name, but that's what we're calling her. Um, and like it was my twenty first birthday, so we went to go get drunk. And I remember she took me to like a party, we went to like a house party or something. It was somebody else's like party, you know. And I just remember I kept telling everybody it was my birthday. <laughs> it's my birthday! And I just remembered that for my 21st birthday. And then after that, I really didn't, I don't, from my 21st to now, I don't remember having a very memorable birthday that I would really, you know. But I decided that this year and this year fourth, I am going to start celebrating my birthday for myself because if you don't do shit for yourself, who the fuck gonna do for you? Yeah, so I decided I'm gonna celebrate me, you know. I don't need to be waiting and I recommend all y'all do the same. If y'all already adults or y'all teens or whatever and you got a job and you can't afford to go to the dollar store and buy yourself a little happy birthday sign, a little balloon, a little cake from Kroger, from Food Lion. Do it for yourself. Because I have a friend as well that I'm very, I'm that friend that if we're close, I'm going to do something special for you, whether you ask me or not. Because like, to me, it's like the little things because I was raised in a big chaotic home. So to me, it is the little things. You celebrate your birthday for yourself. Like for the kids as well, I'm going to. Because Bebo's birthday is up next, February. Um, so I'm going to get her balloons and stuff like that. I want to decorate her room like the night before, you know, so she wakes up and it's feels special. Like, what do you call it? Breaking generational curses. Work on yourself and you get there. Ain't, ain't nobody perfect. Ain't nobody perfect not on this channel. Nope. We not perfect over here. Is you perfect? If you perfect? Probably not. Maybe. These eyelashes suck. <laughs> We're gonna end this video here. This is um this just it was just a story time. Get ready with me by Mike's note today. And if it's not today, then I'm just gonna be home.
watching movies upload this today and we'll see if it uploads but yeah remember to subscribe and like this video and comment below if you have any traumatic things that happened to you um or that you consider traumatic um you know that you want to share and if you don't then don't it's fine subscribe so we can reach 200 because once we reach 200 subscribers i'm doing a giveaway i'm not gonna tell y'all what the giveaway is because surprise and yeah i did my nails yesterday by myself because i've been working and i haven't been able to get longer nails sad moment i miss my nail tech <laughs>